Soldier, 270 out to 330. Back into 280 is now the favourite. They back down, mate, Mick. $8 into 320. I think he's best suited with the distance out, mate, Mick. He's a bit one paced. I'm not sure if he'll get the necessary speed required to help him um, do his best here. So Alamone's drifted right out. They can't lay him with a trowel. He scores up okay. He's a quick beginner. Bandit Soldier's got gate speed as well. So is Valbaran. Now, mate, Mick, probably the slowest beginner. He's not going for Alamone. He's going to restrain him. Bayonet Soldier's going to find the lead. Our mate Mick will sit behind it. Valboran comes across to go up and challenge with the lead. He's going to roll to the front. Bayonet Soldier galloped. So did Valboran. And our mate Mick's going to be left out in front. And Alamone copped the check. So all sorts of kerfuffle in a four-horse field. Half the field's galloped already. And our mate Mick, the heavily back runner's left out in front. Alamone's going to get onto his back now. He's a bit reluctant to go on the odd occasion. Our mate Mick will see what he does here today. But they have backed in. They took the $8. They liked it. And at this stays there smiling. He's out in front. A surprise leader. Out in front by six metres. Alamone's going to get into his slipstream. Kittle just continues to flick him up. Our mate Mick. He takes a while to get stoked up. Bayonet Soldier recovers and so does Valboran. They're in that order as they go past the mile post. Lead time shows 47.4, which is pretty slow. Our mate Mick out in front. He leads by five metres. Alamone sits in his slipstream and the speed is slow. Uh, three in the third position is Bayonet Soldier and Val Baran, she's at the tail end of the field. Down the back straight they go. Our mate Mick being left alone, no pressure. That's the way they've got a chance of beating him is sprinting him because he's a bit one-paced. Alamone sits on the leader's back, travels okay. Bayonet Soldier recovered after that early blunder and Val Baran is last of the group. So out in front, it's our mate Mick. Simon Kittle's just giving him a flick every now and then to try and keep him on the job. 32-4 the first quarter after a lead time of 47.4. So there's not a real pressure. 22-30 race and Valboran comes one off from the tail end of the field. Bayonet Soldier stays in. Alimony will probably stay on the leader's back and try for a sprint lane option. Valboran's trying to flush it out. Wayne Hill says, come on, Davey, you can come out. But no, he stays in. And now Valboran being tickled up. He starts to work on our mate Mick, knowing that he takes a little while to stoke up. Alimony's poised to pounce on the leader's back. Valboran on the outside. And Mark Billinger now angles one off with Bayonet Soldier to grab the one out, one back. They've got 650 metres to travel. Stepped it up to 31-2, the second section. 63-6, 600 metres is to travel. Our mate Mick in front being worked on. He will respond when his horse gets near him. In second place, he on the outside is Valboran. Alimony seems to travel okay on the inside following the leader. Bayonet Soldier's got something to offer as well. 400 metres to travel. Cheap third quarter, I'd say. Didn't look that quick. It wasn't. 30.9. Our mate Mick in front leads by three metres. Valboran second. Alimony, Bayonet Soldier pulling wide but not running on good enough. It looks like it's between our mate Mick and Alimony as they come into the front straight now. Our mate Mick leads away, got clear. Alimony's five or six metres away. Our mate Mick got clear, he's going strong. Alimony getting up on the inside, he's sprinting quickly now. Our mate Mick joined by Alimony. Alimony goes to the lead and Alimony beats our mate Mick. Bayonet Soldier is around 15 metres away in third placing and Valboran at the tail end of the field.